Evening, ladies as well as gentlemen, Puppet Boris here, playing some more Pathfinder Adventures on Heroic Difficulty. Last time we had a pretty easy one, now it's time for a hard one. There's a really, really high chance I'm going to lose this. So, in this scenario, when you encounter, or after you encounter a Wrathful Sin spawn, you roll a d6, and on a 1, 2, or 3, you lose a turn. It's hard. It's really hard. And there's a lot of Wrathful Sin spawn in this. There's the henchmen who are Wrathful Sin spawn, the villain spawns a Wrathful Sin spawn, there's a location that's closed with a Wrathful Sin spawn henchmen, so it's uh, it's a lot of blessings lost. It's very, very difficult. If I get one of the wildcard powers that reduces even more blessings, then I'm pretty much guaranteed to fail. And, you know, there's been some people on the forums um, on Obsidian's website talking about how legendary is imbalanced and whatever, but, like, it's kind of meant to be. It's sort of meant to be unfair. I don't think that you can complain too much about that, you know, you just don't have to play on these higher difficulty modes if you don't want to. So I kind of like that sometimes you just lose and then you feel really satisfied when you win. Here we get spell, item, or blessing, barrier card. I don't think there's that many spells, items, or blessings here, so that's actually a, a kind of a free pass. My checks aren't any harder, and I'm not missing out on exploration potential. Like, there's no there's no temple here. I guess um, this place, the village house, kind of sucks to bury a card when you acquire an ally, because otherwise you could, ex you could chain explorers a lot here, but that's about it. So, uh, what do I want to do? I think we're going to... God, this waterfront. Always always a problem with the waterfront. Hmm. Well, Valeros at least has an easy call. All right. He's going to the Catacombs of Wrath. There's lots of fighting to be had there. So that's pretty sensible. We have to have someone who can defeat a Poison Trap henchman. My most dexterous person is Sejan, so I think he's the man for the job. He's also got two Thieves' Stools, and that place has two barriers. Shrine of Lamish to... I'm just going to get this over with. I'm just going to put Kira there right at the beginning. I'm not going to put it off for later. And then Seijin and... Or sorry, Slam and Sayoni. Why don't we have them just take out the waterfront early on? It's at such a bitch location. I think if I can just get it out of the way, that would be nice. And then we'll reevaluate depending on like how lucky things go. In this scenario, you do have to explore very aggressively to beat the clock. So she starts with Father Xantus, a troubadour, and two blessings. So she can basically, like, explore with all this stuff and uh, then heal. The only problem is Father Xantus heals her, and she has lots of cards to explore, but she only has the one combat spell. So if she fights a lot of monsters, she's going to be in trouble. And we start with the worst thing she could have possibly found, which is the Enchanter. So we have to discard a card right now and then discard a card afterwards. That is probably going to put a little kibosh on our plans. At least the combat check is low, so I don't need Lem to help with that, but kind of sucks here. Yeah, this is a bitch. What I'll do is I'm going to explore one more time and just hope I don't find a monster, because this is a rechargeable exploration. I don't want to pass on it. Find a monster. All right, well, all right, I guess uh, Blessing of the Gods is turning into a fireball, and Lem should probably help with this. So let's do that. Burn the Unbeliever. And Father Xantus is a bit too early to use here, so we'll just hang tight. Alright, so you got a Staff of Minor Healing. That's nice as well. Why don't I just use this before I forget about it? Yep. So, Lemming finds a guard. Alright, well, the bad news is this guy doesn't explore. The good news is I was going to have to bury a card after picking him up. Wait, what? 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 Boo? Oh, it's item, spell, or blessing. Oh my god, they should have gone to the village house then. Oh shit, I'm stupid. Well, um, balls. That was a poor play. I should have I should have read the cards more carefully. Okay, so it's bad the guard doesn't give extra explorations. I would have liked some. Oh, another one? Jesus. All right, well, now that I have two, I can use the waterfront's power to explore again and uh, just play them both for an extra exploration. Hey, pro plays all day. Now that I find the traitor, which has the before you act discard a random ally power, I don't have to. All right, I think Sioni's going to give him a blessing to make sure this goes through. That blessing may have made the difference. May not have. The world may never know. And the question is, do I explore again? Um... Let me think about this. If I explore again with my blessing, what happens if I find the henchman? I, yep, whoops. What happens if I find the henchman? So I have to kill the henchman with a crossbow, and then I fight a bandit, which makes me recharge a card, and then at the end when I close the waterfront, I have to discard a card. So I don't actually want to explore right now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use the cure pretty lightly, 
There's a 50% chance I waste some of the healing, and I do waste a bit of healing, but I'm going to leave the cure in my discard. I'm not going to try recharging it so that I have the cure on tap and so I can draw an extra other card. There's Aldern, ready to sing a song of sixpence. Okay, so Sage ends at the Junk Beach. Let's go ahead and pick start this. Glive again. Still don't really want it. The Troubadour helps me defeat the Poison Trap Henchman, so I'm not going to explore with him, but I will explore with the Sage. I need to get that out of my hand. Tome of Knowledge. I don't think this party can afford to hang on to that. There's really nobody who can keep it profitably. I guess Sioni can. Oh, wait. Um, when you acquire an item, you can banish it to draw a new random item to your hand. Yes, I will do this. Potion of Ruggedness. Uh, nope, not worth it. So we're going to stop here. I don't want to keep going because if I find a monster, if, and after having spent my blessing, I'm going to be in bad shape. All right, she has Augury. Uh, what I think I'm going to do then is take a little trip over to the Catacombs of Wrath, which have a whopping seven monsters if you count the henchmen, so Augury has the most value there. By the way, you can do this for any character who has Augury in their deck. You can just like always start them at a monster heavy location, just in case Augury's in their opening hand. That way they can use Augury there and move somewhere else, but I don't really care about it that much. And we, wow, hit the jackpot. That's, guys, this is three free explorations with a uh, rechargeable card that's it's really good that's that I, it's 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 like i just added three blessings to the blessing deck with this play so i was lucky um the problem is of course if if any combat check is failed then all of that is undone so it's it's risky to explore now but we got we got to do it i mean i can't like not explore do i throw the blessing of Saren ray down what happens if i find a henchman i can kill the henchman with Inflict, I can kill the other henchman with a mace. Valeros is here to help me. I think this is actually worth it to do. Got a Goblin War Chanter. Oh, okay. Well, I would definitely like to be able to play spells that have the attack trait or weapons. Can somebody help me with this? Deep, deep, deep. All right, there we go. Blessing of Shellen. All right, so this will allow her to use, I think, the mace is what I really want to use here, because it's a combat eight. It's a really, really low combat check. I mean, it, it's it's a very easy to kill monster, balanced simply by the fact that it um, uh, it doesn't let you use weapons or spells without making a pretty difficult check. But since she, Kira can make the check, um, it becomes a pretty easy affair. So the question is, do I discard the mace? Let's see, I'd have to roll a six on those three dice. That's just the kind of risk I don't feel like taking today. We're gonna just discard the mace for that extra d4 and security. Didn't end up making a difference, but I'm still pretty happy with that play. And then her turn is done. All right, Valeros. Man, if Valeros finds a monster that can only be killed with a magic trait, such as uh, the shadow here, it's going to cause the deck to be um, shuffled. I think I'm going to take the risk, though. The alternative is just going somewhere else and waiting. I, let's just go for it. Hopefully I don't find a ghost or a uh, thing. What's it called? Ghost or a specter. Um, am I going to reveal or uh, discard this thing? If I discard it, then I don't have another weapon to fight with. If I want to keep exploring with the standard bear, which I do, if I simply reveal it, I have to roll a 6 on 2d10, or play a blessing, obviously. Oh no! What? What? Oh no! That is a bad bug. I just, I, I just, okay, this is a bug that was in the game in closed beta that I thought was fixed. It's if you, like, reveal a weapon and then back out of it. It causes the weapon to float in the middle of the screen and you lose the... Di no, I did not mean to roll! Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I did not mean to roll. I was just touching the die. Holy fuck. Uh, that would have been very bad if I had failed. <laughs> but anyway, that, was, that wasn't my fault. It was, it was a bug. Um, I should have definitely had the Bastard Sword back in my hand after backing out of it. Okay, uh, that, was, that was sad. Oh, man, he doesn't have any weapons. Hmm, okay. Well, um, Sioni, fuck this. We're gonna go to the village house. Now that I know that allies don't make you bury a card, this is definitely where I want to be. She's good at picking up allies, getting extra explorers, and I don't want to fight monsters right now, so... It actually seems fine to do this. Oh, I, she can actually fight with a light crossbow sort of decently. Let's discard a blessing of the gods. Dog. Wisdom check. Alright, um, let's think about this. Thieves' tools, there is one barrier here, but... It's not that likely to come up. I'm just going to go ahead and get the dog and explore with it. Vin Vinder. He does not explore, but I guess I'll banish him to draw a new item. Because why not? Man, that bug with Valeros, that was terrifying. I almost, like, undid that augury of three monsters. It would have been devastating. All right, we're going to just pop Father Z. 
25% chance I fail or I waste a healing, which I do. But it's not the end of the world, and um, I want to hang on to the tiger for combat. Okay, so Lem is going to join Sione in the village house. She could augury here, but there's only two monsters out of seven. I think we'll just take our chances with exploration. Nice, this is an auto pickup. And I will... Oh, alright, I have to bury a card. Well, burying the guard. Wait a minute, no. Aldrin Voxlove is definitely the most useless character, because I'm definitely 100% never going to play him for his power. So that's definitely the card to bury. Let's go ahead and explore again. Blessing of Lamish. Oh, the 1%, 10% chance of failing. Alright, well, I guess that's that. Wow, how many guards do I have? What's going on with all these guards? Jesus. Bugbear. It's going to be a bit of a loose roll here. I have to roll an 8 on 2d10 and a d4. Luckily, one of my d10s came through. Got to keep the tools. It helps me defeat the barrier. But then if, if I'm doing that, I might as well play the troubadour to explore. Because if the thief's tools auto-defeat the barrier, I don't need the troubadour's dexterity, dexterity help. Okay, that's that. Now we have two tools. I should probably discard one of them. Got these catacombs of wrath. They're terrifying. But I have... Kira's actually pretty good. She, she can kill this stuff. So, all right, let's make the wisdom check. She's actually good at making the wisdom checks against them to, to avoid the difficulty penalty. Um, let me think about this. If I reveal the flaming mace... Okay, I don't, I don't want it to bug out again. If I reveal it, what is it going to be? It's going to be uh, d8, d6, d4, plus 3. So I need a 3 or a 6 on my dice. Yeah, that's a bit loose. I'm going to discard the flaming mace to make sure I get there. Oh! My god, I just rolled four ones. That was a bad time for that. It was a really bad time for that, because not only am I losing a blessing, well, I was going to lose a blessing anyway, but I lose those three explorations from the augury. Fuck! Oh my god, that was the worst time. Okay, what was that? Hang on, hang on, hang on. That was a D8, two D4s and a D6. So that's eight times six times four times four. Uh, you can't see this, but I'm going to bring out a calculator. Because I just have to know this. Eight times six times four times four. That was one in 768 odds. Of happening. Ah, uh, fuck. And Valeros doesn't even have any weapons. Please, just have the, have the henchman be on top. Fuck. Uh, Alright. Uh, Valeros needs to go elsewhere. Um, where is he gonna go? Where is he gonna go? Fuck it. Just going to the village house. Wow, that was bad. That, that was terrible. That was just beyond terrible, frankly. It was... Really one of the worst things that's ever happened to me in this game, actually. I, I don't think it gets much worse than that. So we're probably going to lose this. Oh, fuck. God damn it. Uh, we're probably going to lose this now um, because I haven't, like, closed anything. And, of course, that thing just happened. I, I just don't see myself coming back from this. But I guess we'll see. So we'll keep on trucking. Maybe Sioni should just go over there and cast Augury again. At least the top two cards are useless monsters. So I know that... Um, it's, it's going to hit value on the augury. Yeah, that's probably what I'm going to do. All right, so everybody does some shit. Now, here's the good time for Caltrops. He actually has two tools and nothing else. He's not really good at fighting right now. Kira, F it. Just F it. Don't care anymore. All right, so that went off. It wasn't too bad. Valeros can end his turn. So back around to Sione, so she'll go to these Catacombs of Wrath, and she'll cast Augury in this location a second time to get at least two monsters out of the way. Monster, monster, and there's the henchman. Okay, so she can put the henchman back on top. She doesn't really want to fight this thing right now because she'd have to uh, throw a fireball at it. Um, but you know what? I don't, I don't have time to dick around. Whatever. I'm just going to do it. So there's the Wrathful Sin spawn. There's the failed wisdom check. So we'll discard a crowbar for this combat check. And should I use a tiger? I think someone has a blessing of Gorum. Yeah, there you go. We'll, we'll discard a blessing of Gorum to kill the first one. And I'm going to use my tiger on the second one. Please, can I get lucky? Nope! Not a chance. So that's uh, two for two. Losing the blessings. All right, then we have to kill another one to close the location. And I'm gonna. I think I'm actually better off just burning the crossbow than fighting with it. We'll recharge the tiger. So I need to roll a seven on these three dice. Should be fine. 
Okay. And can I get lucky? Okay, so things balance out a little bit. I mean, you really should only lose blessings half the time. Okay, so that all fucking bullshit just happened. Shuffle an item from your discard pile into your deck. Oh, yes, I get to keep the crowbar! And we're on to Lem. Lem, I think you can probably just keep on plugging away at this village house. Don't want to do any curing. Is Valeros hurt? Not that hurt, no. All right, so he'll just keep on plugging away. There's Koruvus. And I think we'll just... Use Acid Arrow. I need to roll a 7 here. Meh. 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 That's a little bit loose to not play a Blessing. So we'll play a Blessing. And it didn't make a difference, but it was close to making a difference, so I'll take it. And guess what I'm banishing to close the Village House? I'll give you a hint. It's the Guard. Alright, so we close two locations here, and we're at halftime. Halftime with two locations closed ain't a great situation. Sajan, God, he can't even really kill henchmen here because he has no blessings. Um, screw it. There's only one monster, though, when there's two barriers here, so I feel like it's still a good place for him to keep exploring. Okay, so we don't get the half plate. I don't really care that much about that. I will discard one Thieves tool because otherwise my hand's just too clogged. And Kira Knightley. All right, it's, she's got to go over here. Someone's got to go over here at some point. And her time has come. So I hope the first card isn't a blessing. Good. Uh, because this allows me to at least get the Inflict out of my hand. And improve my odds of drawing into a card I don't mind discarding quite so much. Why did I roll here? That was a loose roll for sure. But I got lucky. And didn't have to pay for my insolence. So now, uh, do I want to explore again? If I find a blessing, I'm going to have to dump my hand. Not that excited about that prospect. So yeah, there we go. I picked up a chain mail. Much more happy to lose a chain mail. Valeros actually might want to go to the Shrine of Lemish too. He's got two two armors that he would be happy and thrilled, in fact, to discard to a Blessing. So let's see if we can take the burden off of Kira a little bit. Blessing! Yeah! So we lose an armor, we lose another armor, and he's actually got a decent shot of picking it up. 90% chance. Oh, of course he didn't! Oh, of course he didn't, but hey. All right, if I, if I, if I do this, the problem is that um, if I actually find the henchman... Yeah, fuck it. We have to take some chances. I only have a 1 in 8 chance of finding the henchman. I found the henchman. Okay, uh, this is going to be a little tough. It's going to be a little tough, but we can do this. We can do this. So what we're going to do is Kira or somebody... Didn't somebody have a Blessing of Gorm? I guess they already played it. Hmm. Um, this actually be kind of tough. Can anybody play a spell on this? No. All right. Um, yeah, I guess we're just going to play a Blessing then. I need to roll a 5 on 2d10. Pretty likely. It was, a, it was a loose roll, for sure, but um, hopefully I don't lose a blessing from the deck. Thank you, Dice, for being kind to me. And now I have to make a Divine 6 check, which uh, is a little bit tricky, because it's a Divine 7. Right. So we're losing a lot of blessings here to make this magic happen. But that was the risk I took. So I lost, like, four turns to get this location to close, with, if you count, like, all the blessings that I discarded. All right, well, that's the risk I took, so now we're just playing a little bit light on Blessings. Sioni, where are you going to go? Oh, yeah, you still need to finish up this waterfront. We just got to get this thing done. So let's go over here. Wow, these henchmen, they sure do like popping up now. Okay, so do I use the Scorching Ray here? I think here what I'd rather do is pop the amulet and use my tiger. And then... Scorching Ray should be enough to kill a bandit. Okay, I've, I'm actually getting lucky. I've succeeded three times and failed twice on my 50-50 coins. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's not what I want to recharge. Got to recharge the right card. Okay, so we had some horrific luck earlier there, but uh, it was sort of compensated since then by the fact that the henchmen have been popping up like whack-a-moles. And I have to discard a card. Right. Always forget that. Luckily, the only only one person had to do that this time, and she got her augury back, which is nice. All right, Lemming. Does he want to get something back, like a cure? Hmm. Yeah, I think I wouldn't mind curing myself. He's got six cards left in his deck. 
I've, I've been rolling really good on cures lately, I do have to confess. I've appreciated this very much. And we'll put the cure back on the bottom of the deck if I, if I can get lucky enough to do so. Alright, so what's happening now? We have uh, just the Junk Beach and the Glassworks and the Old Light. Okay, he's the best at closing the Old Light. He's the only one with the knowledge skill in this party, so I'm going to just go here and start that process. Um, I mean, it's just like any other scenario, if the villain's really, really buried in there, I could end up being in trouble, but you got to take your chances. Ooh, eight is, oh, this would be really good to pick up. I hope I get it. Okay, that was nice because uh, it's just really good since I've spent so many blessings to have an aid to kind of compensate for that a little bit. Okay, so Seijin still plunking away at the junk beach and there's the villain. Oh my god, do I have all the all the stations manned? No, the glassworks is open. Crap. Uh, Seijin is actually the worst person for fighting the villain solo because he... um. He's not very. He has to. She she makes you fight a wrathful sense bomb. There's no one there to take the heat off of him, so he's actually probably gonna fail this whole process. Um, Lem, I can't afford to spend any resources to stop this. So the villain's gonna be in the glassworks. Lem can temp close the um, old light. I guess I'm just gonna have to go balls to the walls, Dickens here, trying to uh, stop this from being a disaster. So wrathful sense spawn. Um, I guess we can use a d10 and reveal the amulet. I have to roll an 8 on these two dice. How many blessings do I have? One, two. Okay, I think I see what I have to do here. I think I see it. We're, we're, we're going to play a blessing and just hope that these come up as an 8. Oh, thank God. One of the d10s came through for me. All right. And here we lose a turn. So we've lost three out of six. It's to be expected. And now for Irelium. All right, we're going to do this. We're going to reveal the amulet. I'm going to have Lem play Aid. And then now that he's played Aid, there's been a spell played on the check. So Sioni can play Phrasma Blessing, which adds two dice to a check that has a spell played on it. And then with all these dice. Wow, that was way too close. Jesus. For that many dice, that was way too close. Um, so, shoot, Aid does not get recharged. Okay, so um, we're, we're, we're going to send the villain over to the Glassworks. And now everybody can pile drive at the Glassworks. It's going to be a close thing. There's so 11 cards in the Glassworks. One of them is the Henchman, which could theoretically, you know, get you to the villain earlier. And then Lem is to stay behind to close the old light, which sucks because it would be good for him to, you know, be in the location that everybody is pile driving. But uh, he's the best person to stay behind, I think. So we'll just leave him where he is. She actually can't fight here. All right, still got to do it. Oh, God. Oh, that's not what I wanted. <laughs> that's not what I wanted to have happen. All right, we're going for it. We're freaking going for it. So here, how many blessings do we have? One blessing, two blessings, three blessings, four blessings. Okay. Okay, we can do this. We can do this. So do I, do I spend one of my four blessings to close this? It practically guarantees closing it if I spend a blessing here. Um, yep, we're going to do it. We're going to spend the intelligence blessing to actually guarantee it completely. And now all I have to do is the following. Kira is holding an armor, which means that she can just let this wrathful sin spawn hit her without spending any resources and just block the damage with chainmail. Now... Um, we lose a blessing from the top, or not, it doesn't really make a difference, because now basically what I'm going to do is just uh, spend every blessing that I have. Let's do the combat check. Thanks, game, for not being idiotic. I'm just going to spend every single blessing I have to hopefully let her get to a combat 14. It's showing up as a combat 10, which is a bug, but with 5d6 plus 2, so 5d6 hit a 12, Pretty good odds of getting up to 14, and we do. So that was a legit victory. All right, everybody, thanks so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. If you're sticking around for bonus time, this is an exciting time because here is where I believe we get our very first power feat. So let's go ahead and uh, check out what our characters have to offer for us here. So Sioni, honestly, this group of characters has pretty much some of the least exciting power feats of anybody in the game. So Sioni can get hand size. She can improve arcane blast to plus one and then plus two. Now the problem is this is still just so weak. It's like so weak. It's, 
the the later in the game you go, the worse that arcane plus one d six gets. She can get this thing, which is eventually uh, useful. I mean, it's useful now. It, it automatically recharges the amulet. Eventually, it'll be useful for things like the Wand of Enervation, but, you know, I'm getting ahead of myself here. It, it's just not useful for a while. And then she can improve her hand size, which makes her pretty fragile. And it does, it does, it does do her good to improve her hand size, but it doesn't, like, increase her power level. So, much as I hate to do it, I'm going to do the Arcane Blast. I do use Arcane Blast. An extra plus one is nice. I'm not thrilled about it, but I just feel like her options are so poor. For Lem... He's one of the characters that gets shipped. He's forced to take armor or weapon proficiency, neither of which he ever wants. Now, the Bardic performance, this is really good. Don't get me wrong. Making it a d4 plus 1 to all checks, helping his allies, or a d4 plus 2 eventually, is incredibly strong. But then he's, his third power feat's going to be shitty. Seijan, there's no question. We're improving his ant size. Adding the magic trait to his checks is very, very marginal. Kira is a shitty situation. She can get weapon proficiency, which I guess is nice so that Valeros can pass off his extra weapons to her and stuff, but it's not that big of a deal. She can just use maces. Her healing, like, have I ever even used this? Nope. And then there's the undead bonus, which I guess is okay. I'm gonna take the, um... God, I don't even know. I guess I'll take the, the extra hand size. I just don't get any value out of anything else. Valeros, hand size, obviously. Uh, he just needs more cards in hand. And eventually he can improve his teamwork, which I don't use that often, but it does come up. So, like, it's not... His power feats are good. There's no, It's just not very interesting. He has two in teamwork and two in hand size. So he's guaranteed to have one in each and then two in the other one. It's, I don't know, just not that exciting. So, uh, power feats, it, it, it improves the power of the characters. This particular group doesn't have a whole lot going on, but hey, whatever. It's better than nothing. Let's go ahead and fix up our decks. Uh, dog, you're not needed here. Guard, go away. Bracers, go away. Hmm. So, do I want another aid is the question. Aid over acid arrow. I guess the question is, is my crossbow plus aid better than acid arrow? So acid arrow is 2d10. What has he got? Two skill feats and charisma. That's two. Arcane is one, so that's three. Ar acid arrow has a one, so that's 2d10 plus four. That's 11 plus 4 is 15. Crossbow plus 8 is 2d8 plus a d6 plus 1. So that's 9 plus 3.5, which is or plus 3 and a half, which is 12 and a half, plus 1, which is 13 and a half. Kind of wishing I'd gone for dexterity with Lamb, honestly. Um, let's see, does Kira have room for an aid? No, definitely. Definitely does not. All right, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of an aid. And... If you give Lem Augury, he can actually reuse it with his hero power, which can be very strong. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to give aid, one aid to Kira, and I'm going to give an Augury to Lem, like that. I guess I should have had that from the beginning. Seijan's items suck a bag of dicks. Oh, God, they just suck a bag of dicks. Wow. All right, so there's that. And Valeros needs a, Valeros needs a weapon? What? Why does he need a weapon? Did he banish a weapon? Oh, my God. My... My my bastard sword actually got banished from that um, bug. Excuse me, I have to go get the door. So yeah, that bug actually made my bastard sword be completely banished. That is remarkable. I guess um, this sucks. <laughs> Having a light crossbow is just a wasted card, basically. Um, he's rolling 2d8 with that. Uh, can I do anything about it? I mean, I guess I can have Kira hang on to it. Um, instead of Valero, so she's got a wasted card instead. Not exactly sure who that's helping. So that was, that was a remarkably bad bug. It cost me almost, um, the check, except for extraordinary luck, rolling a d single d10. And, um, it also lost me a good weapon. <laughs> Interesting. Anyway, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Please like and or subscribe, and I'll see you again soon. Take care.